Alright guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how we can join separate objects together so we can edit them as one mesh. I'll go into sculpting, I'll do a quick voxel remesh and just to finish off I'll use a decimate modifier and hopefully that'll bring the topology down a little bit. So in traditional fashion, let's delete this cube. Now I'll press Shift and A and I'll add in a couple of base shapes so I'll just use the UV sphere. I'll press Shift and D to duplicate S to scale, and I'll just knock something quickly out. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm not looking for an award here. This should be good enough for an example. So you'll notice that all these are separate objects. So if I select each object and I hold shift, so with everything selected, you'll notice the highlight colours are slightly different. So the last thing in the order is a slightly lighter orange. So when we use a join function, that is generally the last object to be joined. So keep an eye up here in the outliner. Now we could use the shortcut Ctrl and J, or we can right click on the mesh and you can see here, join. Always keep your selection in mind when it comes to the order. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump into sculpting and I'm going to use the remesh tool. So you can see here, voxel size. Size of the voxel and object space used for volume evaluation, lower values, preserve finer details and that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for 0 0.015 which is pretty low to be fair. Now we could use the adaptive setting. It reduces the final face count by simplifying geometry where it's not needed. But we'll just leave everything on default but one thing I will check is I'll do smooth normals. And I'll hit remesh. Now obviously the larger the topology, the lower the voxel size, the longer it'll take. So we get something like this. You'll now notice the topology has now become one. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to do a little bit of smoothing on the mesh. Just to kind of move things out and I'll just tweak the mesh ever so slightly. So we end up with this kind of horror Mickey Mouse shape. So I'm going to jump back into layout mode and I'm going to show you the wireframe and I'll press Z. Pretty damn heavy mesh. Pretty good for modelling on, but no good for animation. And this is where the decimate modifier comes into play. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why don't you use the remesh? And it's because I like to cause pain. So I'm not going to use the collapse modifier, I'm going to use unsubdivided. Now you can see here, the face count is 822,000. <laughs> so it's a pretty damn heavy mesh. So I'm going to put the iterations up to maybe something like 6 and let's see what we can get away with. So it does take a couple of seconds, depending on how heavy your mesh is, and how complex your mesh is. But you can see here, I've reduced the face count down to 195,000. That's a huge difference. So I'll hit apply on the modifier, and that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know what to do. Peace.